so you know, I have a gun too. You like, get I, no I, excuse. I Are you carrying one. right now? Yeah, yeah. I, I always got a gun, dude. You always got to have a gun. Target. Officer! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He said he does! He's got a gun! That's that's appropriate? Yeah. Your energy You don't get to say that to me. What happened to these guys? You don't get to say that to me. The sooner you go. You can't act like that, man. You're not allowed to tell me about it. I can I can you asked me if I had a guy I legally I didn't ask you. You did. <laughs> you called men with guns. You get no excuse. Just so you know, I have a gun too. Right. The problem is, is that on any of the beach on Bel Air Shore, there is no uh, canopies or tents allowed. All right, Jackson, this is the ordinance violation. It's a hundred bucks, or what you can do is you can contact Bel Air Shore. We can blindfold all our problems. We can lie. We love this shit. <laughs> Given a $116 ticket. My umbrella, I've had it for years and years, and I've used it in different places, different beaches. Bel Air Shore says the change was made in, quote, in the best interest of the health, safety, and welfare of the community. But attorney Joseph Manzo, who's now filing two lawsuits on this topic against the town, thinks the 73 beachfront residents who call Bel Air Shore home want to keep their view and their beach as private as possible. They got a view 24 seven. All we want is some shade protection from the sun. Manzo says 48 people from the town over Bel Air Beach are backing his lawsuit. Many moons ago, Jack off and his friends kicked off. Got ki Jack and his friends got kicked off of the beach that they've lived at their entire lives by a dude who just moved in. Somehow he's already on the city council and he's called the cops over a hundred times for people using the beach outside of his house. He literally called the cops on a family for having an umbrella over a baby. And after our last episode, he hasn't stopped. He's continued to call the cops on people and mermaids alike. And the craziest thing about all this is that you haven't liked the video yet. We're doing some serious investigative journalism and putting our lives on the line to create entertaining content for you guys and to save our town. If that's not worth a like, I don't know what is. As I'm sure you saw in the intro, this guy brandished a firearm, which is illegal. And I know a lot of you have been wondering what ended up happening with him brandishing a firearm, threatening us with a weapon. Well, absolutely nothing. And I think that that's kind of the main problem here now, especially considering what happens later in the episode. Jack began investigating deeper into the local city ordinances and state laws, spending many hours and even days making phone calls. Hello, I was just looking to get the public record of the last time a survey was done for the Mean High Waterline. I just had a couple questions regarding it and regarding um, some of the rules around Bel Air Shores. And I just wanted to be crystal clear because uh, nobody seems to be able to answer any of my questions. So if you could give me a call back, I appreciate it. Thanks. I don't think they're going to answer my calls. You might just have to go. Is watershed. Ha! I got him! I think this is it. I think we might finally get some freaking answers for you guys. Where's my magnifying glass? Reach the town of Bel Air Public Works Department. If you could leave your name and telephone number, I'll be happy to return your call as soon as possible. Shit. 
Another f dead end. Just a hippie with a peace pipe and a dream. And a really, 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 really good history of investigative reporting and journalism. Nobody could answer our questions. Nobody. So it was time for action. While technically, from a legal standpoint, on paper, we've accomplished nothing. From an entertainment standpoint, we are kings. Wow, this video has consumed so much of my life. Sorry this video has taken so long, but good things take time, and we've been looking for answers. Am I sorry for taking so long to upload a video? Yes. Am I sorry for taking my time to make good content while focusing on other projects that will shatter your sense of reality? No, I'm not sorry for that. What we are realizing is that the dude that kicked us off the beach and brandished a firearm at us is on the city council. I didn't think it was true. I've come to realize that he is actually on the city council. Basically, he has influence. And this could be a reason why the cops did nothing about him brandishing a firearm. After episode one, we knew something needed to be done. So I made this video and I uploaded it to the internet. People of the internet, I need your help. Most importantly, I need your umbrellas. This could be the most important thing that you do all week. The city of Bel Air Shores has literally kicked hundreds of people off the beach over the last few months over using umbrellas or sitting too high on the high tide line. It's a real thing. Umbrellas are banned and they're even removing people from below the high tide line, which is considered public property. The cops have no idea how to enforce it. And every time I try to go to the city and ask them for the mean high water line survey, the last time it was done so that I can exactly determine the property line between public and private property, I just get ran around in a circle. You guys have no, how, you guys have no idea how many people I've been on the phone with. I've gotten no answer answers and my point is this if they can remove hundreds of people from the beach shouldn't we know why shouldn't we be able to educate ourselves on the property rules when it comes to public and private property shouldn't the cops have any idea what they're talking about when they remove all these people because they don't so i'm suggesting an umbrella party tomorrow why because they can't sunburn all of us they can't give all of us cancer so do the right thing share this on your story bring your umbrella bring your mother's umbrella what happens next it's incredible stuff. People from all walks of life showed up wielding umbrellas as if it was their first RuneScape guitar in 2008 on RuneScape. So we marched to the place where it all happened. Bonjour. Cops were everywhere. They were waiting pepper spray tasers and guns in hand for these absolute menaces to society to do something reckless like prevent skin cancer. Are you guys starting to understand how ridiculous all of this is the more that I speak? But the cops actually not only ignored us, they actually went completely out of their way to avoid us. Like we would see the cops down the beach and then we would run all the way down there with our umbrellas and then they would just leave. So we kind of thought that we did it. We we're like, no way, they don't care anymore. We can have umbrellas, we can go to the beach. They're not, it's, we, we, we felt like we accomplished something. Um, we did not yet. Um, the cops came back. We assumed that because he could brandish firearms at us, that, that was a place where we could hang out and not get in trouble for having umbrellas because if he can, threaten people with a gun, we should be able to not get skin cancer. That seems perfectly reasonable. No, it's not. The cops came um, regarding our umbrellas and I got a ticket. Puzzah! And Eric just said, there's no babies with us. They might not kick us off. Yes, there's more of us. Oh, oh, oh. Cancer. <laughs> it seems like a pretty good spot to hang out. Let's just kick it. Set up camp. We'll bring some skim boards out. We'll get some surons. Hey, there's like 10 cops down here kicking people off the beach. So let's go. This guy's on the uh, Bel Air, uh, Bel Air Beach City of Commission, City Councils. Yeah. So he's been fighting for the umbrella rights for a long time, but. 
Bel Air Beach and Bel Air Shores are two different things. And the Bel Air Shores people are not very nice. Support from my other council members. So we're going to go to apparently the guy who started this ordinance. His house is down here. So yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys in six blocks. Sued Bel Air for the first time. When the first gentleman got the ticket for having the tent out in front of the... It yeah. shouldn't be a pay to play game. No, it shouldn't. Apparently... Sunday, what he is explaining to me is state land can't come within 25 feet of their seawall, apparently, because he did like 500 hours of research. More than, I mean, I did a couple hundred, but it's very tricky. It's a very sticky situation. And um, you better believe, at the very least, we don't get to the bottom of it, okay? We're gonna get to the bottom of it. If this is what it takes, this is what it Those guys are getting cancer. We gotta go shade them. Doesn't matter. We care about you too much. It's reef, it's reef safe. Yeah, reef safe. No, Bel Air banned umbrellas. So. Banned umbrellas. Yeah, so we you brought. Fighting the power. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And saving you guys. How's it going, man? Nice Bob to meet you. Bob was the second guy who got a ticket for using the umbrella. He was basically right like, you want to do it? Ticket me, right? Wow. So this guy, it was him and Pete Rodero. Uh -huh. And um, we've got both I saw of the charges news segment. dismissed. Yep. Nice. But um, he was one of the courageous ones who actually said, no, I'm not taking this crap. So this is Bob. So, I'm also not taking this crap. Not, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. If you keep noise. And just sit on the beach. I do whatever I want. It's like church. Be quiet. <laughs> just listen to it. We're in front of the guy's house that put in these rules along with uh, the mayor's house as well, who I spoke to the other day. He was a nice gentleman, but I don't know about these rules. I don't know if I like them. I know you guys don't like them, so we might as well not like them together. We got attorneys. We got City of Bel Air council members out here with us. This was the point in which we felt like we had won. But right when I went to get waters for all the people that showed up for the umbrella party, the cops showed up. So, now hold on a second. You asked me to yeah. explain, okay. Yeah, yeah. So now there is a little part there, right, that the public access is actually up to the water line. Yeah. And a little bit higher, kind of, we kind of do like wet. Yeah. Well, but the problem is, is that on any of the beach on Bel Air Shore, there is no uh, canopies or tents allowed. So now there's one exception to that, and that is at the accesses, which is owned by the city. The city says you can have. Uh, what if we're below the high tide line with the yeah, canopies? Yeah, no, no, no canopies what? from property line all the way back, uh -huh. except for where the city owns the property. Okay. The city owns the property. Canopies can be up there, except for these type. It has to be uh, no bigger than seven and a half. Is this allowed to be down below the high tide line? No. Not. Yeah, but that's public property. Like Wouldn't that be public property though, boats below high tide line? We don't enforce boats. Yeah. So, um, actually, the way the uh, city and county is with the state, mm -hmm. it actually does go into the water line. Okay. So Only because you haven't done a, a survey since 2021. Survey in the last couple years. We've had a well, that's, large that's up, that's up to That's up to the city. That's why we're here. State. Isn't that what you're enforcing you? But yeah. yeah. And that's fine. You can bring it up to them. Uh -huh. but, that's why we're here. But for, <laughs> for our purpose, okay? Because the city ordinance, we're not we're talk, talking about high water tide or where you guys are allowed to be. Uh -huh. We're talking about canopies. Well, you know how okay. bad skin cancer is. Uh, you know, it's yeah, one of the I, leading causes of death. I, again, I you realize that's how not, silly this law is. That's not. That's I know not, it's not yeah, you. I don't. But we're doing this. Law. We're doing this to make this an issue for you because you have to understand how silly this is. Again, we're I, here I, with umbrellas yeah. for the shade of the sun. Yeah. Like I, you guys know your uniforms. How hot are you guys all day in the sun? It's um, so, helps, right? so, so what I'm asking for now, yes, sir, because we, we get your point where we're at, where we're at, um, asking that you just move over right here to Indian Rocks, uh -huh. and you're good to go all what day if, long. If, if you if, want, if you want these up, okay. If you want these up, yeah, okay. If you keep these up, which I don't want to do, yes, there are citations that we have to issue, okay, that I don't want to do. Okay. These are not allowed. How that far has, would the tent have to go out for it to be allowed to be there? Uh, yeah. These are. This is what. 
this yeah, is what I'm curious different. about so because I can nobody just tell can you. explain this to me. So yeah. I yeah. Can you explain something to you? Yes, sir. On the 18th, they have a city commission meeting in Bel Air Plus. Your best bet is go talk. Go to there, and them. that's what I would do. That that way, what you're going to do is you're going to get all the information you need. That way, you know what is in the law, what's not in the law, what you can and can't do. Okay. Out of curiosity, how what's the fine per shade structure? So right now, it's $100 per, sa okay. per shade structure. Okay. And just this one? That one. Anything, Anything over seven and a half feet. Seven and a half feet in diameter. Okay. I would, I would like to keep this one, if that's okay. Do I still have to remove it after the citation? Yes. Yes? What, what's the, what, what's the next step after that if I decided? Write me, just keep writing them until I eventually leave. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to educate the public. Nobody, nobody really knows what, what, where the line is, so we're trying, we're out here to try to determine that. From what I was, so what I was told, and where I was, what I wrote, uh, what they had explained to me and what we read was uh -huh. that the shades are the only issue. Yes, sir. Because I guess. All right, we're gonna make it seven feet, guys. So it's when, real, real. No, yeah, when they yeah. when they created the ordinance, yeah. it was so that it wasn't blocking the view of the people who have bought this because this is the only beach that owns all their property. Understand? Right, so that's the whole reason. So well, you don't want to waste your guys' time either. We just I've I been calling the city. I've gone into the city hall and I've asked them to see the be in high water line. Go there the 18th. Yeah. Huh? Go, go on the 18th. Okay. Because that they're if they don't answer your questions, yes. then they that's where your voice is heard. Yes, sir. Like right now, obviously we're out here. We're just your having some fun. We're just trying to get yeah. to the bottom of it. So yeah. If you take it down, I don't care. Take it down. Stay here. <laughs> play i don't care that's not what it's about i would like to leave one up and have one ticket please okay well give us a minute okay all right i'll we'll tell you what you have an idea or anything on you? i do not um, can you come out front yes sir all right. I can. did you guys is he the one who called no no um i don't even know how we got there we've how do been, we've been out here since 3 30. okay so we've just been letting you when we saw you walk up and everything We're gonna to get to the bottom of it, one way or another. Move along. Thank you. What you need to get and, um, we had a, to we had an issue with somebody brand new. Uh, we had a property owner, like right directly out here, came out and uh, told us that we had to leave and we were below the high tide line and then the police came and after the police left, he said, just so you know, I'm always carrying a gun. And uh, I have a concealed weapons license where I did when it actually mattered. And I know for a fact that you're not allowed to tell somebody that you have a firearm as a way to intimidate them. Yeah, you're not. It's concealed. Yeah, you're and not. And I went and I told a couple officers about that, but I don't think they ever got charged or anything ever happened with that. So okay. I'm just bringing it up again because I still got no answers. Now, was it there? Did you see it? Was it? Um, there was a bulge and he pointed down to his hip. Okay. So I'll say this, you should have been investigated at the time. Yes, sir. Okay, it's, I can't go back and reinvestigate because I, like, we, we filmed yeah. it too. We yeah. had a, him on video okay. saying that and we uh, submitted that via email. Via email? Yeah. Yeah, so like the thing is, is but I did you call us at the time it happened? Or did, um, it wasn't later on? It was on? the next morning. Okay, so. Because we didn't realize we had it on video. Okay, even if it's not on video, uh -huh. call us. Okay. And the reason being is, it's harder for us to play catch up than it is for us to come out there and go, oh, what do you got? Oh, you do have it. On. Oh. Yeah, see what yeah, I'm saying? Then if you would have seen that he yes. did have a gun. Because okay. now it's, yeah, you have him on video and you go, yeah, I said it. But then guess what? Oh, that was just a phone. Or that was this. We have no way to prove it. or So it's, it's harder. Yeah. Okay. So. So, you're, so you're at two different issues from the way it was explained to me. Was there's, there's two different issues. You have the waterway where, hey, where does the private property kind of end? Where does it not? Which is great. The problem is, is the ordinance for the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the tents. Mm -hmm goes actually out into the water. Okay. Right. I do believe that's because they haven't done a proper survey of the mean high water line and in it could be. years. It could be. Yes. But the way that it's read for us and the uh -huh. way for enforcement for us, that's the way that it's going to be okay. until it's either changed yes. or it's found and that's what non non-constitutional for us to enforce. Yes, sir. I do believe it is non-constitutional. From what I've fine. looked up from yeah. the, like the statutes, I've spent probably 250 hours <laughs> digging through all of Bel Air's websites and all yeah. of Florida's websites trying to find the answers. But what I read is if there's any amount of significant erosion done due to yeah. a storm, then the old mean high water line survey that determines private and public property is no longer valid and they must do another survey before they can rightfully remove anyone. So, Otherwise, they're violating people's constitution. So, yes. Right. So, to remove you from a certain area, mm -hmm. like I can tell you, like where the grass is mm -hmm. up to little part. So, the way that we determine and the way that 
you know, the insurance kind of determine is if it's dry, mm -hmm. it belongs to them, belongs to the citizens, mm -hmm. or the, who the owner. Yes, sir. Now, if it's wet or even, or damp, mm -hmm. or water's been on it, it's public. Okay. So that's for where you can be at. Yes. But the shade the, structure, the shade thing? structure is, the way that's written is from, prop, for the property owner's view, so they made it all the way out. Okay. But How according to the navigable uh, waterway laws yeah. in across the entire United States, if the waters are navigable by any form of boat, kayak, whatsoever, then it's deemed as public property. So my point is, is if I brought my tent down 10 more feet into the water, technically I'm on public property and the city ordinances can't be in effect. So these are the questions nobody so, nobody seems to have the answers to that we're trying to get to the bottom. Because if not even you guys know, then I yeah. don't see how they can tell you guys to enforce it if there's not a clear description of... Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. Yes, sir. And there's people who are smarter than me that figure it out. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I have an that attorney's number that claims to know everything that there is to know. I met him today for the first time. I'm okay. going to give him a call and ask him a couple questions. Okay. Just because, <laughs> because nobody knows, we want to just have some sort of clear description and understanding because yeah. of the fact that over 100 people have been removed from the beach over the last four months due to people just calling the police and claiming yeah. that they're on private property when there's not actually been a survey of the mean high water line done in the last multiple years. Yeah, and typically that's kind of where it's at. Mm -hmm. The way that it's read, like I said, dry is dry is theirs, mm -hmm. wet is, or damp is anybody else's. And if, if there's seaweed that goes up to here and it's all dry here and the water's there, seaweed's here that tells me that the water's come up to here yep we're fine with that yes sir is it makes sense okay. I mean, oh, we'll yeah. try to use a little that, bit my of tent was technically below the seaweed yeah. line and because we're at a lower tide right now yeah the water's right. a bit and that lower that makes but... sense i mean we try to use a little common sense a little judgment mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah of course um but your discretion, again, yes, yeah sir. but again the way the, this, the ordinance is written for that part is no no tents whatsoever blocking the view of the homeowners well i can get answers on the 18th that was kind of the whole point of today was just have some sort of clear understanding of what's going on. And I've lived at Avenue for 28 years, and some guy that moved here eight months ago told me that I had to leave, and mm. that just kind of threw me off a little bit. I get you. All right, Jackson, this is the ordinance violation. It's 100 bucks, or what you can do is you can contact Bell Air Shores and request a, a hearing, all right? Yes, sir. Um, are you employed anywhere? Uh, Alphabet Inc. All right, so this is an ordinance mm -hmm. through Bel Air Shores. All I need is your signature right there that either you will take care of the $100 fine or contact for a hearing, okay? Yes, sir. And the only thing I ask is just, you know, take that down, that's good, and no alcohol. I got a ticket! Um, we should remove these though, because otherwise they just have to kind of keep writing tickets. I don't really know. Hey, there's a uh, there's a public hearing about this on the 18th we all have to go. that we all have to go to for sure. So something that's important for context is in the original video we have this clip, but I didn't include the full interaction after this mainly because my friend was yelling he has a gun over and over again, and I didn't think that that was needed. I didn't think that that was going to help the video be monetized. I figured it might get it age restricted, but now I'm realizing it's important. So I'm going to show you guys the full clip. Ask a little nicer for you just to move with the alcohol and explain that I don't want it around my kids. Yeah, yeah well, you would have kicked were... us out even if we didn't have alcohol. And even Actually, we... I, I wouldn't have. Yeah, well, you kicked I, two I of knew... my friends off the beach earlier who were two girls that were sitting here sun tanning. So I didn't actually I didn't kick them off. I asked them to move down. And yeah, well, let's just, what's let's the, dif about what's that the difference? Though? The difference is, is that if you're sitting, and they were no, no. How come you're saying you came at us because of alcohol, but then the two girls who were tanning? No, I asked them to move down. Okay. There was a group of four of them. Okay. I asked them to move down the same way I asked you guys to move down, but they were up there and we were walking out with everything, and they were actually blocking the exit to my uh, entrance there, so we couldn't get out. You should move board. into the middle of the woods. Get no, like we, 50 people acres. People should just be respectful of other people's property. Oh uh, yeah, you moved here a year ago. I think you know nothing about beach etiquette and respect if you're asking me. Yeah, we're the locals, by the way. Yeah, I was born here. Hey, I've lived here for 28 I'm, I'm not years. I've seen you guys one time. I've lived, yeah, how I'm long you have you lived here, bro? I'm saying I haven't seen you guys. Look, you I now. lived here for 28 years. I appreciate this that. is the first way, time. Man, I, I get it. It's, first it's time ever. But first time I ever got you. Had we, it may have went differently. They got it rough. I, I know they do. This is one of nine uh, seven man dollar houses I have, but they, they got it rough. Either way, you guys have a good no one. No one cares Welcome about to the neighborhood, man. I care. That's why I bought it here. How many you got? 
That doesn't mean you get to treat, learn treat from, people from like from a dick. And your attitude and the way you're handling it, and I'm going to conduct myself more like that in the future. I'm just trying you're to make more, sure you do this like, again. Your energy's you're not like going to change his mind, Robert. Right right right. yeah. <laughs> These energy yeah. 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 change things. Good. Well, that, we did change it. It really is. It is. I appreciate their energy. Yours reminds me of me. You called men with guns. You get no excuse. Just so you know, I have a gun too. You get no excuse. Are you carrying right now? I always got a gun, dude. You always got a gun. Leave, leave it alone, Robert. Officer, he's got a gun. <laughs> they don't yell that out, dude. dude he's got a gun. What the he hell? said Robbie he Rob. does. He's got a gun. What the hell? Then get the f out of here. Dude. Go fast. Dude, are you, that's that's appropriate. Yeah. Your energy. You don't is get so to say that to me. What happened to these guys? You don't get to say that to me. The sooner you go, Robbie, the better Robbie, off you'll helping, be. Helping, bro. You can't I'm act not like that, man. To carry a gun? You're not allowed to tell me about it. I can, I can, you asked me if I had a gun. I didn't carry ask guns. you. You did. You called men with guns. You get no excuse. Just so you know, I have a gun too. <laughs> tell me about it. I can, I can, you asked me if I had a gun. I didn't, I didn't carry ask guns. you. You did. You did you ask me. You said I always have a you gun. You said, do you have a gun? I said, I always have a gun. You called men with guns. You get no excuse. Just so you know, I have a gun too. No. Like, hey, listen, in all seriousness, I'm done being a dick. You too, I appreciate. I'm gonna try and mirror that energy next time. And, and I'm gonna think about the way I handle it. And I appreciate y'all being chill. Watching this back over is hard because at this point, I had a lot going through my head. I just thought this was gonna be an interaction with some dickhead who just moved here and wants the beach to be private. At the time, I had no idea he was actually on the city council. I didn't know anything. I'm just curious as to how that happened so fast when he just moved in. And now we have a city council member brandishing firearms at people in public and getting away with it. Literally threatening and intimidating people with a gun. But as you can see, once the cop walked back over and we told him what happened, he said, what do you want me to do? about it. Yeah, Anyways, pleasure. Thank you. I got What's going on? He I said he's got a know, gun. Man. You can't be telling me that. What do you want me to do about it? Well, I just wanted him to go away and leave us okay. alone. But when he's standing in front of me telling me he's got a gun, they I assume that as a threat. So I hollered for you. Did he make a threat towards you? Nice hat, man. I mean, it felt like it. It felt like it. Yeah, if somebody what said it. I didn't tell him, you know, anything I, about I, I mean, Started no, talking no, about good. guns, he, and then he was like, do you have a gun? He's like, I always have a gun, and it just got weird, and I don't know why he came back over here in the first place. Didn't you guys tell him not to come over here? Just do me a favor, take all your trash. Oh, I've oh, never, I picked up never. extra, too. Yeah. Yeah, I there's in the, in the there's a can right? of all I, It's all we do, man. Every day I'm out here, I pick up trash, I promise you. Yeah, we don't have any sprites, but most I got to tell the sea dunes just to be respectful of where we're at. So, I don't want to like discourage you guys from coming into the shore, Beller Shores, but they're further down at like 6th Street. There's a nice little entrance right there. Yeah, I know. It's further down. Mm -hmm. Might try that one. It's got this guy. Now, why is this an issue? Because I got in trouble at the exact same spot for having an umbrella, yet this guy can threaten people with guns and it's just fine because he's on the city council. Do you think that if these cops didn't know who this guy was and he was just some random dude at the beach threatening people with a gun, or if it were me, that person would have gone to jail? I think so. And as someone who calls this place that this video was filmed, my home, I was born a couple blocks up the street. For the cop to talk the way he did about us picking up our trash and calling us out for trash being on the ground and then saying you could probably try that one basically in a very condescending tone telling us not to come back to the beach that i've been skimboarding at and hanging out at my entire life it all just feels wrong man welcome to the neighborhood yeah what a jerk man all right we're gonna thanks man. Nice man have a good evening i don't think i asked him if he had a gun i think he supplied that information the cops there then and there on the spot knew that this happened. They just chose not to deal with it. Why am I pointing this out? Because I got a ticket for having a f***ing umbrella in the exact same place that this guy brandished a firearm. What does that tell us? What have we learned here? Well, we've learned this guy can brandish weapons in public and the cops will do nothing about it. But if I put up an umbrella, they will write me a ticket. That to me feels like a problem and it feels like something that needs to be addressed 
and it feels like these cops are being either manipulated or influenced to do the things that they're doing. Um, if Bel Air Shores had a choice, they would be a sovereign state. Bel Air Shores and Bel Air Beach are two different places, two different cities, two different towns. Bel Air Shores being the people that own beachfront property. If you live one block across the street, you have way less rights to using the beach than the people that own beachfront property. Now, most people are not assholes like Daniel and don't kick people off of the beach every chance that they get. Most people are pretty cool and just want to live quiet lives. This guy is a different story. I tried to contact the city. I tried to contact everyone that I possibly could about this law. I looked into the mean high water line. I looked into erosion control. I called the city of Bel Air. I called Pinellas County. I called the state. I called everyone I possibly could have. Not one person seemed to be able to give me an answer at where the line is between public and private property. The cops don't know. I don't even know if the fucking city knows. I don't even know if anyone on planet Earth knows. What I Another thing that I learned, apparently you can own the land underwater, but you can't own the water. So technically, some of these people do own into the water because of the erosion control line, but apparently it's like 110 feet between the border of Indian Rocks Beach and Bel Air, and it tapers the further north that you go to the point where it's only about 25 feet long. And apparently once the erosion control line is set, it's not something that can ever be changed, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. I don't even know what the mean high water line is anymore. I don't even know what any of this is anymore. All I know is something needs to be changed. I've done so much research to get to this point. I have not gotten anywhere. I'm just one dude that makes YouTube videos with dreadlocks that's working on doing a stand-up comedy routine. If you guys have any answers for me, place them in the comment section below. I think we're going to have to do a part three of this. I don't know where it's going to go. I tried to get a court. I tried to get a hearing for the ticket that I got, and I got no answers there either. It was even extremely difficult for me to pay the ticket in the first place. It took like four tries. I don't know why. Just know that the best is yet to come. You guys are beautiful. If you need a pair of mother kisses, use my code, JukeSquad10 at PitViper.com. We got new merch dropping on JukeSquad.com. We got Megalodon Shark's Teeth if you'd like to purchase one of those. Um, I don't know what else to say. I put so much time and effort into this, only to just realize that Nothing has changed and nothing has happened because of potentially corruption and whatever influence the city of Bel Air has over the cops. Um, none of it feels right. Something smells fishy. I'm going to keep trying my very best to get to the bottom of it. I love you guys. Like the f***ing video. Because why not? Why wouldn't you? That's it. I don't know what else to say. I love you guys. Follow me on Instagram if you want more. To be more closely updated on everything that's going on. Stand-up comedy coming soon. Megalodon Ranch. Tube Company. We're just going to keep chasing dreams. Just keep knocking them off the bucket list. Just keep on doing it. Till next time.